Hi everybody, I thought I would do a January through June flip through for you. If you are new to my channel and haven't seen any of my plan with me's from the beginning of the year, I did start in a recollections planner and from June I started my happy planner. So I'm going to move that one out of the way for now. That's not out of the way enough there um so this got very chunky but we will start with january um some of the monthly kits i cannot remember what they are so i do apologize but i do remember all of the other kits so this is my january monthly spread this is from Green Dana Designs, I think, and uh, didn't get filled up very much. I did use the Green Dana Designs Wacky Holidays as well, and there's a few paydays in there. But other than that, this didn't get used up that much. So for the first spread in January, this is the 1st to the 7th, and I used uh, two kits, one from Those City Stars, which is no longer a shop, and Strawberry Lime Designs, I think it is, for this kit. Um, didn't fill in the second half, as it was New Year week, so didn't really fill it in much but the girls went back to school on the 3rd after their Christmas break uh, apart from that there's not much on this week shame I didn't fill it all out because it is a nice spread moving on to January the 8th to the 14th another lovely kit this is the Prosecco Please kit from Harriet Wright Designs. Um, I love the colours in this kit with the pink and the rose gold. I um, don't think much went on this week. Um, I had my first lot of Whimsical Cat stickers, I think, over Christmas, and I did a blog post on them. But other than that, not much, but a lovely kit again from the 15th to the 21st i used this kit from oodle doodles and it was called snowy nights i love how her checklists had the background the same as the normal boxes so it kind of went together this was another lovely kit. Um, on the Wednesday, I organised my stickers. Um, my eldest started her after school revision classes for her SATs. But um, just let me go back a minute. I did start my YouTube channel in January. I can't remember the date of that but when we get round to January again I probably will do a giveaway try and get some stickers or some shop credit for you but um, that is everything for that week. This is the 22nd to the 28th. This is the Woodland Friends kit from Anything Elsie. I did have this kit sent to me for free in exchange for a feature on my blog. Um, here I had a Bluebells feature go up. She also sent me some stickers in exchange for that feature. Um, don't think anything else went on that week. I love this check emails sticker but I can't remember where it was from. So I couldn't order any more, but that sticker is very lovely. But yes, that is what that week turned out like. Moving on to 
February. I think this is another kit from Green Donna Designs and I used the Wacky Holidays from Your World of Colour. So not much marked down. Um, my partner's birthday for the 8th. Um, Bill Jews. So this is the first week for February. It is January the 29th to the 4th of February. And the kit is Coffee Morning from Harriet Wright Designs. I love this um, double box and I have this girl as little stickers from Lucinda Charlotte, which I like using for days, uh, for marking lazy days. Um, again, <clears throat> not much going on. I did a Diamond Prince feature on my blog. Um, her stickers are amazing. She's just started doing some of the foiled overlays to go on your headers, which I definitely want to order. This is my first Valentine's themed kit. This is for February the 5th to the 11th. This kit is Mr. Grey from Harriet Wright Designs. Um, I love this kit. I hope somebody else brings one out like this for next year. This was also the week of my partner's birthday on the 8th. Don't think there's anything else major on this week. This is the 12th to the 18th and it is the This <coughs> this Girl Loves by Lucinda Charlotte. Um, I did have another kit post down underneath this. Being very stupid when I first got this planner, I thought, oh, I'll go through it and I'll place some kits down. And then realised they weren't the kits I wanted to use as these headers didn't actually go with the kit they went with the kit that I previously placed down but I managed to pull it up a little bit and fix it so um, on the 13th we I had a shopping day um, I was going to film a phone case collection but I wasn't too sure as I had put a Poundland haul up and I got a dislike on it. I don't know if that's because I am supposed to be a planner channel, but I wanted to try something different as well. But we'll see. I might post one in the future. I don't know. Um, I used to be part of the Green Dana Designs PR team and she was in the planner box sale in February. This is the 19th to the 25th. This is the XO, no. Good morning, Valentine from Lily and Miko. Um, again, I didn't film much in of the weekend. I think the girls were off school this week. I don't know because it says go to mum's and we only usually go to mum's on a Tuesday if the girls are off school so I can't remember but we also had the dentist on at half two um nothing much else for that week moving in to March this kit was from Lewis and uh, Charlotte as you can see, it didn't get filled in. That's why I do my monthlies different, which you'll see when I go into my Happy Planner. The 
This is the XOXO kit from Lucinda Charlotte for the 26th of February to the 4th of March. Again, the weekend didn't get filled in very much. Um, oh, that's why. Um, 28th, it was my uncle's funeral. And yes, the girls had broke up at some point because they went back to school on the 26th. Um, they had non-uniform day for World Book Day on the 1st. So that's why this week it didn't get filled in. I think it was kind of like a rewind spread when I filmed it. Because obviously I had the funeral. So on the Sunday before, I wasn't really feeling planning. This is the spring picnic kit from lucinda charlotte for the 5th of march to the 11th i think this is where i really started <clears throat> getting into my planning properly um but not much on the week being a mom my weeks generally are the same every week. Um, it was Mother's Day on the 11th. This is the 12th to the 18th. This kit is the <clears throat> storybook kit from Curls of Beth Plans. Um, again, not much going on this week, nothing major that had popped up, I uh, needed to pick up my partner's prescription, it was St. Patrick's Day. Oh, and 14 days until Easter. This is my birthday week and I'm so sad that I didn't get to fill it out properly. I think I was ill the week before, um, but this is March the 19th to the 25th and the kit is from Oodle Madoodles, but I can't remember what it was called. My birthday was the 21st, um, the first day of spring on the 20th. Uh, my youngest had a orchestra concert at school um my youngest went on a day trip in the uk the clocks went forward i don't know if this is the same in any other country but the clocks went forward on the 29th 24th and on the 25th my eldest went to a reborn they're called Reborn Dolls, the dolls that look real. She went to one of them conventions with um, my mum and stepdad because she had a girl Reborn doll for Christmas and she actually wants another one this Christmas but she wants a boy one. Oh, and my eldest had a orchestra concert after school on the 22nd. So quite a busy week as well being my birthday week even though it doesn't look very filled out this is march the 27th to april the 1st this was easter week as you can tell um sure the girls were off over easter as well did they not break up? I don't know. I swear the girls are off for Easter usually. I don't know why it's not marked. Um, apart from being Easter Sunday on the 1st, not much else went on. I filled in that I wanted to decorate for Christmas. I decorate the house, fill the girls' Easter baskets and set up a special breakfast. Oh, here we are, yeah. The girls broke up on the 29th for the Easter holidays. 
Um, on to April, I think I'll have to stop here and film the next bit after, as the girls are currently off with the summer holidays. I only have so much time I can film, so I will see you in a second. I'm back, everybody. Um, I don't know how much of this I'm, more I'm going to get through. Um, my eldest woke up at five o'clock. It is now currently 11, I think. And she's fell asleep on the sofa. So let's see if I can get the rest of this done. So on to April. This is my monthly. And this is the Easter monthly kit from Your World of Colour. Just give me a second, I just need to move my chair, so I'm sorry if there's any noise. Right, there we go. Um, not much on through the month, just my bills. This is the my both girls' birthday month as well. So this is April 2nd to the 8th and this is the Pretty Things kit from Your World of Colour. Uh, not Your World of Colour, that was the monthly spread. This is from Lucinda Charlotte. Um, I don't think there was much on. Um, no, just our usual. We went to my mum's on the Saturday. And that was about it for this week. Moving on to the 9th to the 15th. This is another Lucinda Charlotte kit. And this is Hollow Glam. Again, not much on. My weeks tend to be the same. So unless the girls have something at school or they're off school. Um, check something in a minute. I think this is the first week that Britain's Got Talent started, I think. Because I don't have that sticker on the previous week, so. But yeah. This is a mixed kit. Uh, bits from Harriet Wright Designs and Project Plan. And, um... I can't remember what project plan called the kit, but Lucinda Charlotte called it Wish. I thought the colours are beautiful in this kit. Uh, we went to my mum's again. That's about it, I think. But I do love this spread, it turned out really nice. This is my girl's birthday week, the 23rd to the 29th, and this kit was from Lucinda Charlotte. Um, my daughter's birthday, my eldest, was the 27th, and my youngest was the 28th. Um, so apart from that, there wasn't much on this week, apart from buying their last bits of presents. Um, But yeah, that was it. It was just the girls' birthdays and a lovely kit as well. And I decided to do a washi banner because your world of colour does these uh, flags in her kits. Moving on to May. Now, this is when I started doing uh, my memory spreads. So instead of filling the month out at the beginning of the month, I jot down one thing for every day through the month. And then I fill it in at the end of the month and do a memory spread. Um, if you, for, on my channel, if you find the list for monthly, then this will all be in there, but I try to mark down what Etsy shops I purchase from and then a thing for each day. So this is April the 30th to May the 6th 
and this kit is from Bluebells Planning and this is, it is called Home Sweet Home. Um, I don't think there's anything major on this week. Just the normal stuff. But yeah, I think this turned out really well. I like this spread. This is May the 7th to the 13th. And this is Miami Walks by Pretty Crafty Planning. Um, I don't think... Oh, my youngest had a school trip this day. And it was my eldest's last after school revision class before her sats. This is May the 14th to the 20th and this kit is from Pretty Chic or Chick Plans and it is the Beauty Room kit. This was the week of the sats. Um, had the doctors as well. And then my eldest had a trip as a treat for finishing their sats. This is May the 21st to the 27th. This is a Your World of Colour kit and it is called Boss Babe. Uh, the girls broke up for two weeks and it was my granddad's birthday on the 26th and my stepdad's birthday on the 27th. This is the 28th to the 3rd of June. This is a kit from Mac and Gray and it is called Perfect Picnic. Uh, we went to my mum's on this day. And on the Saturday, and that's about, oh, and it was my mum's birthday on the 31st, which is why I chose this kit. Did I plan? This is my June monthly. The kit is from Planning by Miss Eve. All these are done as videos. I do have these on my channel. This is June the 4th to the 10th. This is a kit from the Plump Planner and a few bits from Lucinda Charlotte as well. I'm not quite sure what the kit was called, but it was a lovely kit anyway. Um, girls had no school on the 4th. It was a PD day and they went back to school on the 5th. Uh, sports day was on the 6th and then we had the carnival down by where my mum lives on the 9th so quite a busy week this is June the 11th to the 17th this is the busy bee kit from Annie Ann Prince um, I decided to use some gold foil in this. I think it turned out really well with it being the bees and that. So I thought the gold foil would go really well on this kit. Um, on this day, my eldest had a morning at her secondary school that she'll be going to in September. Uh, we went out this day. Oh no, Leah went out this day with my mum and stepdad and me and my youngest went to the park. Um, next pieces are in my happy planner. Let me just get this one out the way. Oh, it's quite heavy that is. Right, this is my 
happy planner which is what i am planning in now so i pulled some pages out of my old happy planner which i very first started in when i first started using stickers so i could do I couldn't wait to use it when it came, so I pulled some old pages out. This is June the 18th to the 14th, and this is another kit from Mac and Gray. It is the Fit and Fabulous kit. Um, not much went on this day, but I do love how this spread turned out. It looks really good. So I won't show you any more because they're all July week. So this is the last week for June. I will be doing a, another one of these videos in January. So I'll do July through to January, which will all be in this planner. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. At the moment, I'm trying to upload two a day. Once the girls are back at school at the beginning of September, I'm going to try and do three. So I'll have my normal plan with me videos, an extra video like a haul or something and a video of my TN spread. So... I will catch you in my next one.